to. Don't stop, I'm already late. Late for what? I'm going on an adventure. Are you ready for an adventure? Yes. Okay. And four, we're on an adventure. Tess and I today are on an adventure from Kavala, where we're staying. We came to Karamati by bus. Karamati is the port which will take us by ferry to Thasos Island. And that is our adventure for the day. There are beaches there. If you want to go swimming in the Aegean Sea, that's a place where you can do it. I just wanted to also let you know that this is a great budget idea. If you wanted to go to one of the island, one or more of the islands of Greece, if you leave from Piraeus Port in Athens, it's going to cost you a lot of money. Even the closest islands, there are tours that you can take uh, that will take you to three islands in a space about six or more hours. But that will cost you $125 at least. That's per person. What we're paying from Kavala, we paid five euros a piece in order to get to Karamati another five euros a piece to take the ferry, and then the same coming back. So for a total of about $40, the two of us are getting to go to the capital of Thesos Island, which is called Thesos. If you're taking the three island stop, you're gonna pay 125 euros, that's 250 euros, in order for you to have the same adventure that you can spend 40 euros on. So that is my budget suggestion for the day. Do it and enjoy and save money. In our previous video, you may remember that the ancient city of Philippi, where the Apostle Paul planted the first European church, was founded by the people of Thasos Island around the 7th century BC. But Thasos has a history of its own. From earliest antiquity, the walled port held significant status. In fact, the city-state possessed the second-largest navy behind that of Athens, until King Darius I of Persia conquered the northern coast of Greece at the beginning of the 5th century BC. The old harbor had held 60 trireme warships, but the Persians forced the city to destroy their own navy. Today, Thasos, the northernmost Greek island, is a favorite vacation destination for Europeans who arrive primarily by ferries from the mainland to enjoy the many beaches, delicious cuisine, nature, and archaeological sites. Tourism is a major industry of the island, not only for the residents, but also for seagulls that escort the ferries looking for a handout. Bring some crackers or buy some on the boat to give them a treat and give yourself a thrill. The fact that visitors can bring their own cars and drive around the island only adds to its popularity. But one does not need a car to enjoy a one-day trip to Thasos town, known locally as Liminas. Most tourists step off the boats and head directly for the beach, but a casual walk through the village holds pleasures of its own. In cities like Athens, Corinth, and Thessaloniki, you find the majority of archaeological sites have been set aside into parks, separated from modern structures and charging an entrance fee to view them. Not so in Thasos. The ruins are intermingled with modern apartments, homes, and businesses. Turn a corner and you may find the foundations of an ancient temple or broken arch. In most cases, anyone can simply walk down into them to explore. This was the case when Tess and I located the Sanctuary of Heracles, the Temple of Dionysius, and the Odeon of Thasos. New antiquities are still being discovered in ongoing digs. For those willing to climb further afield, the Acropolis Theater presents an excellent view of the village and harbor. 
and don't forget to see the large ancient agora by the shore. There is no charge to explore this expansive site. But if you really want to pay for something, the excellent archaeological museum of Thasos charges just 4 euro per ticket during the high season and half of that during the winter. The ancient city of Thasos was a marvel to behold. Its major buildings were built with white marble from the Aliki Quarry at the southernmost tip of the island. Most of us have seen photos of the whitewashed houses on Greek islands, but imagine the capital of Thasos brightly gleaming without the paint. We cannot claim that Thasos has a prominent place in Christian history, but we can take this opportunity to appreciate how Thasians and generally all Greeks celebrate Easter. Greeks take Lent and Holy Week seriously. Holy Saturday is a quiet day in the village, considered a solemn occasion because Jesus was still in the grave on the Jewish Sabbath. People pretty much stay to themselves in their homes, frequently fasting. But at the end of the day, Thasians often go to a local pub or eatery to consume the traditional soup called Megaritza which is made from the innards of a lamb or goat. The rest of the animal will be consumed the next day. Later on Saturday night, usually around 11 o'clock, the church bells will call the faithful to worship. They gather at their church for a special service, light candles, and process outside to await the bells, joyfully signaling the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that because Jesus rose from the grave, Christians have the secure hope that we also will be raised from the dead. The rest of Easter Sunday is a time for family. Outside almost every household, you will find lamb or goat roasting over a fire. Music will be heard throughout the village. And at some point, boiled eggs, which are always dyed red, will be employed in a kind of competition. Family members and friends will tap them together, and whoever has the final unbroken egg is said to receive a special blessing for the year. I hope this video has been a special blessing for you, and that you will bless us with a like, by subscribing if you haven't already done so, by tapping the notification bell, and sending us your comments. God willing, more obscure Christian history videos will be forthcoming. May God bless.